Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this acceleration problem, they give us a velocity versus a time graph, and then they want us to figure out for two different times, one second and three seconds, the position, velocity, and acceleration for both of those. In this question with a graph where it's a velocity versus a time graph, how do we know where the particle starts? So to find the position, they do need to tell us, like they say right here, at the beginning, at a time of zero, we're gonna assume that it's starting at zero meters. So now before we go into part A and part B, it's important to remember that whenever we have a velocity versus a time graph, it can be velocity in the x direction or the y direction, doesn't matter. And we want to go to the acceleration, we're going to find the slope to do that. If we want to go down, I think of it down, up and down, but to find the position or x, what we're going to be using is the area under the curve. And so now we will have to use both of these to find what the values are. So for part A, for the position, we're going to be using the area under the curve to solve for it. So we're starting at four meters per second, and at one second, it's gone four. So we have four times one, so the position is four meters. For the velocity at one second, it's a flat line, so it's not speeding up or slowing down, it's just going at the constant velocity of four meters per second. So we have four meters per second there. And now for the acceleration, just like we talked about, it's actually not speeding up or slowing down, so the acceleration will be zero. So zero meters per second squared. So we're all done with that one. Now let's move on to part B and we'll do the exact same thing. This one's a little bit trickier because now we have a square. We draw a little dotted line right here. We have a square and we also have a triangle for the area that we have to solve for. So for up to two seconds, it's four by two, so it's gone eight. This is for the position, of course. So we've gone eight meters, and then we've also gone this square, which is a two by one, so we've gone another two meters. And then for this one, we have half of a square, so that will be, obviously the whole square is two, so half of it will be one. So we have gone, 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. So the position at 3 seconds is 11 meters. Now for the velocity, we just read it straight off of the graph. And at 3 seconds right here, if we go over, we are at 2 meters per second. And now for the acceleration, we need to go up to find the slope. So we need to find the slope of this line since it's all a constant slope. And we're starting, uh, or before we do that, a slope is going to be change in the velocity or change in the y divided by change in the run, which is time. When, looky there, we just solved for the formula for acceleration. So from the final minus v initial over the time. So the final velocity is zero meters per second minus the initial, which is four meters per second over the time of two to four. So that's two seconds. So we have negative four divided by two seconds gives us a negative two meters per second squared for the acceleration. So here are all the answers for part A and for part B for the position, velocity, and acceleration at one second and at three seconds.